For the people of my generation, the signature for the trend was one of the things and devices that seemed to be somehow complex and incomprehensible. This is the elementary particle accelerator invented when the previous gener generation accelerators, cyclo trains, could not longer cope with the new silent tasks. It's not only that they were structurally incapable, it was necessary to generate a homogeneous magnetic field, high vacuum and mechanical strength without impeding the spinning of particles. But there was also a fundamental problem. The particles scattered within chamber got into the accelerating gaps at the run time, and by that reason they were not accelerated. In 1944, the Soviet physicist Vladimir Wexler, and a year later in a panel of him, the American Edwin McMillan, invented the principle of phase stability. The idea consisted in a special configuration of the electric field in the gaps, which could accelerate the lagging particles more intensely than the leading ones. As a result, the particles wouldn't scatter around and would always form a compact bunch. Finally, to get rid of the engineering problems, the particles were launched not in a huge disk, but in a lone annular tube. In order to keep the particles in a stable orbit, the magnetic field was intensified synchronously with the increase of energy. Accelerators at this time were called synchrophasic trends. In subsequent years, the energy increased up to several GV, and they were used to make many discoveries in elementary particles physics. Synchrophasic trend is the bedrock of many of today's accelerators, of the LHC in particular.